Hello everyone, FunshineX here. I am on my test world. I'm going to go through some advanced topics with applied energistics. I know it's given me trouble. It's giving a lot of my uh, viewers trouble trying to figure some of this stuff out. So I came into the test world, did a lot of testing. I think I have a good hold on it now. And so let me go ahead and show you my findings so you can help you know design your applied energistics, energistics system a little bit better and work better. Uh, if you could see here now, I have a, uh, just a typical crazy setup. Um, here's my controller. It's using 45 units per tick and it's storing nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. All it is is some, some chests. I've got just uh, 1k storage in all of them that are completely empty. I've got four of them in a drive that are completely empty. And I've got an IO port and then a preformatter here. None of the drives are preformatted yet. And so the first thing I wanted to know is where do items go? How do, I, how do I know where an item is going to go when it's coming in the network? And the first thing we can do is just go and take this dirt, and let's just put it in here and find out where it went. And it's really a uh, <laughs> guessing game at, that, at this point to find out where this item went. All of these items, uh, there, there it is, so it went to this one. It went to this chest here, and we can see if it's random or does it always follow that pattern. Mm -hmm. Two out of three, or two times in a row. If we can do three, we can assume it has a, uh, some kind of algorithm that it knows where to go. Uh, so let's check. Um, is there any way to get it to go onto the drive instead? Maybe let's go ahead and put a cable there. That's where it wanted to go, right? So we're going to replace it and just go ahead and put the dirt. Oh, where'd the dirt go? Did I lose the dirt? Oh, the dirt's on the. Mm. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, it's on the drive. Uh, here. Go away. Always active. Come on. Go away. Never mind. Anyway, let's get some new dirt. <laughs> should have pulled it out before I broke it. Anyway, so that's where it went before that, and now we've replaced it. Where does it go now? Right there. So it looks like it's trying to follow, you know, like almost the furthest away on a certain line, but anyway, when all items are the exact same priority and there's no other items in the system, it's just going to go place it in a, in a box and you can assume it, it's random. It's, it has an algorithm, but you really can't. There's no way to really understand where it's going to go. Just, to, you know, I've Got items on different X, different Y, or Z, different you know distances away, and it just goes in there. It seems to to prefer chests over drives. I can give it that. Um, otherwise, it's it's just going to put it in some uh, wherever it can find an empty chest. So that's where priority comes in. So I've got a quartz wrench. It's easy to craft. Go and look it up on an EI or on the wiki. And uh, normally, it's just used to spin the items. You can rotate items around, right? Uh, but if also, if you shift click, you get this interface here where you can do a priority. All items start with default priority one. One is the lowest priority. I know that doesn't make sense in standard, you know, convention, but that's the case here. One is the lowest priority. All items start with the lowest priority. So if I put dirt in here, it went in this one, right? If I give this one, however, a higher priority, the dirt is no longer in there, it's in here. Cool, we understand how priority works, right? Kind of. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Can we configure the priority on a drive? Sure. So now this drive and this chest both have higher priorities than everything else. Where does it go? Okay, now it picked the drive, didn't it? Yeah, look, it's right there. <laughs> it's on that first drive. Okay, so that didn't quite make sense, but we'll see. Let's give um, this one priority two and see where the dirt goes. It went in that one, <laughs> you know? So the it, it picked all, the, it found all the priority two storages in the system and it ran its random algorithm again, right? Not so random. Uh, sometimes it picks a drive, sometimes it picks a chest. It doesn't really have any rhyme or reason that I can figure out. 
Okay, so if we want to tell an item to go to a specific chest by default, then we just give it a priority. So this is 64. All items are going to go to this chest. As soon as this chest is full, it will go to the next highest priority, that kind of thing. So that's how you can force items to go to a specific location. There are other ways there to give an item higher priority. The easiest way is to say, uh, let's go ahead and put dirt in this chest. All right, it went here because that's the highest priority. Uh, what if I get some more dirt? Okay, well that's pretty easy. It's going to go in here because now it's the highest priority as well. What if I then set this one here to 130? <laughs> it's higher than this one, right? So you expect it to go to here. Well, that's not the case. It's going to go to where there's already dirt. Any storage unit that already has the item in it automatically gets the highest priority in the network. You can think of it as infinite priority. So uh, if we go ahead and say, let's put, let me get down to just like, uh, all right, so there's 64 dirt in that chest, 64 dirt in this chest, so now they're split up. It should now go to the highest priority chest, which is this one. So that this one got the other stacks, all right? And that's repeatable. Okay, so if there's only one spot, one container that has dirt in already, it's going to go to that one no matter what. If there's multiple spots where it can go, it'll pick the higher priority one. Cool. We're understanding a lot more now about how priority works. Okay, so let's think about this. Now we've got, well, let me go ahead and set pretty much everything back to default priority one. And go ahead and pull out all the dirt. Let's see, I can't remember which one of these I changed. You back to one, you back to one, I think everything else is one, okay. Is there any other way to give an item a priority besides using the wrench or already having the item in? And there is one more way. If I switch out this drive, take this empty storage unit, and instead put this one, um, this one in, this one is pre-formatted. We can go over to the pre-formatter and look. It's pre-formatted to store dirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it, uh, the dirt pre-formatted right here. Let's even put it at the bottom. It's down there. You can see it's orange because it's, uh, its types are maxed out, right? It can't add any more types. That's what the orange button means. Now, if I put dirt in here, you'd expect it would go there, right? And it did, 16 of uh, took 16 bytes to store 60, a stack. All right, but what if I then there's no item, there's no dirt in the system. Let's go ahead and raise this guy, the party 64, and put dirt in there. Where's our dirt? It went back here. So pre-formatting is also another way to raise the item priority of an item to go to a certain space. So if you've got your storage drives and you want to keep them very uniform, very compact, very organized, you got to pre-format them. And that can be difficult, you know, to have so many types. I don't like this the 64k storage. I really don't think there's any use for 64k storage because you hit your type limit way before you hit your uh, byte limit, right? I mean, maybe if you can uh, pre-format for about 20 to 30 items and then you have maybe like 20 stacks of each you might hit 64k but it's gonna be very difficult to hit 64k bytes with one type yeah I mean you'd have so much cobbler dirt you would never get rid of it right so I think I'm in my case I've been using 4ks um, that seems to be a good limit for for most storage I, I do store my cobble cobble dirt uh, saplings wood on a uh, 16k i think i might have a 64k on one of them but it never hits the max you know it's it's like they're sitting around 30k even so uh, I, I would advise don't just jump to 64k and think your problems are solved because you probably have a lot more types than that i would go with four 16ks and and use those only jump to that 64k when you really need the space for the types you've pre-formatted. Okay, so we've learned when an item enters the network just through an import bus or we're dropping it into a, a chest or some kind of tube or anything like that, 
any storage unit that has that unit, that item already in it, automatically gets the highest priority. If there's multiple storage that have the same item, then then it goes by pre-formatting and then by just the uh, random kind of, pri or, or then by priority. Uh, if nothing in the network already has that item, then it will go to a pre-formatted drive first, or a pre-formatted chest. It doesn't, I mean, I can pre-format this chest for dirt, right? And now my dirt's over here. Um, so pre-formatting is the second kind of check that it does. First check, already an item in there. Second check, pre-formatting. Third check, uh, just a regular priority. And then the last check, just put it somewhere, right? Okay, so that covers all the AU systems. Now we've got to the external systems. Uh, you've got export buses into chests, export buses into barrels. Uh, they work on a ton of other things as well. They actually list on the wiki. Let me grab it. Um, no, maybe there was. Not an export bus, a storage bus. There we go. Storage bus. Uh, connects to all generic non-sided inventory, so it can connect to a, uh, I can't think of one, <laughs> uh, the Greg Tex chest, Mine Factory chest, barrels, crates from better storage, I don't know, there's tons of other things that it can connect to. But anyway, uh, how do these, are, are, how are these affected by a priority? Uh, there was at one point commenters telling me that if I gave this barrel a higher priority, it would suck items out magically, suck them into the barrel. No, it cannot do that. Sorry, uh, there's no sucking going on here. But let's cook up this barrel, and we got this chest as well, just to make it easier. And let's go ahead and take out our dirt, and I'm going to take out the pre-formatted drive as well. So we're back to everything. Uh, let's see. You need to go back to default priority. All right, everything's back to no, not pre-formatted, priority one, random chess. Where does the dirt go? Let's see. Does it go in the barrel? Hey, it went in the barrel. That's interesting. Will it always go in the barrel? Okay, well, can we make it not? Well, let's see. Let's come way over here and give a, yeah, this is unpre-formatted. And take the dirt out, put it back in. In the barrel. Okay. Let's do this with the barrel. Let's move it. How about over here? Ah, there it is. Oops. Oh, come on, break. There we go. Uh, nothing telling it where to go. Nothing at all. Where does the dirt go this time? No dirt there. Dirt's in the barrel, okay. So, that does seem to say that export buses, or storage buses, have a higher priority um, than just regular chests. Well, if that's the case, if I've got no, no, no barrels here, but I have this little crystal chest, would, would that still work? No, it did not go in the crystal chest. Where did it go? <laughs> in the drive? No. Dirt, where are you? There it is. It's right here. <laughs> so, yeah. if you can tell me what the algorithm is based on that, that it went here, then here, then here, or over there, uh, you can figure it out. But so that disputes the evidence that storage buses automatically give a higher priority. They do not. It's it's more just where it is in the network. It's assigning that random value. However, let's put a barrel on here again. Actually, I want to make it so. Let me put this one back to a chest. Need a unformatted, empty. There we go. Take the dirt out. Put the barrel back here. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't go in the barrel, just to show this. But nope, it's not working. 
Let's try one more time just to see, and if it doesn't work, then we'll just move on. All right, and win the barrel again. Um, let's do this. Let's go back to our drive and let's put the preformatted dirt in there. And we put that. We expect it to go to the preformatted drive, which it did. Okay. And just to make it easier to see, I'm actually just going to move the preformatted into this chest. Okay. Now, is there any way to preformat a barrel? Because, you know, other than giving this higher priority, now what's going to happen? Let's take the dirt out, put it back in. This one's preformatted, so it stores my dirt, even though I have the barrel higher priority. I don't want, you know, I might say I want to preformat my 64K drive to hold cobble and dirt and wood, but. I want it to go to a barrel first. If the barrel for some reason fills up, then you can store it on my, on my drive. Otherwise, don't put it on my drive. How do I do that? Well, I can't just give it a higher priority. I need to pre-format the export bus. And you do that by right-clicking on the middle of it, and you get this interface, which is gigantic, and it's essentially a pre-formatter. So now this is pre-formatted for dirt. And I need to get <laughs> this control out of there. <laughs> I don't know how that went in. I probably just clicked on the barrel. Uh, we need an empty hand so I can actually click on this. Okay, so this is now preformatted for dirt. This is preformatted for dirt, whereas this has a higher priority. And go, dirt's in the barrel. Sweet. Dirt's in the barrel. Okay, what if I put dirt in here? Any sucking going on? Let's try it again. Let's put our barrel down. Higher priority, preformatted. Nope. If I put it in this one, nope, no sucking going on at all. Even if I, you know, here's dirt, where's more? No sucking. Okay. So that's how you preformat a storage bus. It works with anything, it works on a chest. So let's go ahead and preformat this guy and give him a priority of 65. Dirt's still there, dirt's still here. New dirt goes where? Not here, into the chest. Okay? So that works on anything, any storage bus. Preformat it, you can give it a higher priority, and it'll use that by default. And then, if for some reason this barrel filled up and that chest filled up, then it would use this guy. Does that make sense? Everyone getting it? I hope so. Yeah. There's, you know, it's just basically following alg algorithm. Is there already an item in the NIT system? Go there. If there's not, is there a preformatted storage? If so, go there. If there's not, go to the highest priority storage. If everything's the same priority, throw it in some random chest. <laughs> and that, that'll work all those four steps. You can always know where your items are going. Okay, so that's how this is going to go. Now, the question. I have dirt here. I have dirt here. And let's say I also had dirt here. I don't want that. I want all my dirt here. What can I do? Well, this one is kind of stuck because there's really no way to suck it in, right? Um, so, so let's do this. First, we take the preformatted dirt and we're going to say, go over to their port and I say, put everything on my storage cell. And watch it right now. It says 16. Is it going to take it? No. Is why? Because they're not in the network technically. Okay, so these items are staying here. What I can do though is take the 16 that's on it and say, get rid of it. Go put it somewhere else. This this I think is not working. Let me move it. I don't think it was actually connected there. Let's put it here. All right, let's try that again. I want to suck everything onto my pre-formatted drive. There it goes, now it's up to 32. What did it pull out of? It pulled out of the barrel, it pulled out of the chest. Cool. Now it's all on this drive. 
Now I wanted to get it back into the network, so I click this button. It's now empty, so I can go ahead and put it back here. Where did that go? Three there, zero there. Was that right? 65, 64, oh, we found a bug. Is this preformatted still? Oh, it's not preformatted. I took the preformatting off. Hold on, let's do that one more time. So take you, take a preformatted disk, because you need preformatted, that's only preformatted for the one item you want. If you don't preformat, it's gonna suck everything out. If your system, you don't want that. So this is the way you do it. Suck everything onto that one unit, then tell it where you want to go. Obviously this is preformatted 64, this is unformatted 65. Let's go ahead and format it with some dirt. And now when we flip the switch, uh, where are you? There it goes, it's off. And it should all be in my chest. Cool. So that's really all. I didn't have to use the export bus. You guys were correct on that. But we needed to use the IO drive and a couple uh, pre-formatting options. So now this is unpre-formatted. So I can do the same thing to get it in the barrel. I can say, put everything on here. Now put it back in the network. And it should be on the barrel. There it goes. Cool. That's how you do it. This thing, uh, this can be used uh, the same way. Let's go ahead and come over here and let's just throw some random items here, some random items there, some random items there. Uh, that one's off. Here. Okay, so now I've got items everywhere, right? It's not very efficient because they're spread out. I've got duplicates in the same, in different chests. And I could go and I could just go, oh, that's duplicate of this and move them randomly and do that all kind of stuff. But that's that's trouble, right? I don't want to do that. So let's go to our preformatter. And let's preformat this guy to store storage drives, all right? Or, or any item. I mean, I could have cobble, right? What if I had 1,000 cobble here, 5,000 cobble here? I don't want to manually do it. Preformat this guy to sword store drives. Come over here and say, give me all the storage drives on the network. Uh, that might not have worked. Let's do it with a with cobble. Okay, so we've got some cobble here, cobble here, cobble way over there. Okay. Preformatter. Um, where's an empty one? Here's an empty one. I want to preformat you for cobble. There you go. Cobble. Okay. Put everything in the network onto my cobble storage. And it's going to need to be big if you have a lot of cobble. You might need a 16K for this, or at least a 4K. I don't because I just have like five stacks. Okay, now everything's off and it's onto one place. Now let's go ahead and say this chest. Well, let's not do a chest, let's just say, um, where do I want my cobble? Take this out, and I want all my cobble to be in this chest. So I'll put, I only have to put one, just put one. That automatically gives that chest the highest priority for cobble in the network, and now I can say take all my cobble and put it back in the network. It's off, all your cobble will be in one place, cleaned up, easy to do. Is there another way? Well, yeah, there's another way. Take all of your drives out, <laughs> every single one of them. I mean, in, in our Feed the Beast Ultimate Artisans, we have, what, 10, 20, 26 drives, maybe even more. Take them all out and then just uh, put your 16k preformatted or 64k preformatted in so it's the only drive and then just empty all your drives onto it and then put a second drive and empty all your drives into it and a third drive and empty your drives all of it so that basically compacts everything into what it will store it's always going to be more compact if you preformat but even if you don't that'll still get the items onto one thing i've done that before 
All right, I think we can go past priority and let's talk about one more thing. And that's this system over here. Ignore the jails and the, all the stuff that I've built for Feed the Beast Ultimate Artisans. You can see my testing here. Anyway, uh, I've got two networks. This one is my main network. It's got random junk on it, right? Let's just put even more random junk. Okay, over here I've got my B network and it's only got Bs into an indexer. That's its only storage. It's a really small eight units per tick. I want to keep it small. I only want it to show whenever I come up here, only show me bees. Don't show me anything else. But what if I'm over here in my main terminal and I want to still have access to those bees somehow, right? I want I don't want to run upstairs every time I need to get a bee out when I'm going to the another world to, to pollinate them, right? How can I do that? Well, I mean I could always do this and just get some wire and connect them. All right, what's that gonna do? Well, that breaks the system because you're not allowed to have two controllers on one system, so I'd have to break that controller. Okay, they're both working again, and now I can see all the bees here, which I wanted, but I can see all my other items. Oops, hold on. I can see all my other items here, and I don't want that. Okay, so that's not gonna be a solution for us. Go ahead and put the controller back. What can I do? Well, here's a trick. Take a interface and a storage bus. Okay, so I'm gonna put the interface, let's just put it right here. So the interface is now uh, part of this network. The storage bus breaks the connection, right? So they're not gonna be to the same network, even if I connect here. Right, So that's saying this guy can now see everything in this network because an interface exposes everything in the network, right? Which is really cool. You can actually use that to your advantage in other ways. Uh, so now I can say, here's all my bees and all my other items, right? But over here, only bees. So this creates a one-way one -way connection where the first system can see everything in the second, but the second cannot see everything in the first. The wiki mentions this as being great way to, to, to how, let me try, try to start again, a great way to do public versus private networks. If you want one system to say, this is your private network, you're allowed to have everything, right? You can see everything because you're the admin, that's great. But then have another system where only, where the public can see it and take items out and put items in then you know this is a great way to do it. All of your items are secure because they cannot flow out of a storage bus, only in. Uh, so let's let's try something. What happens if I put a princess in here? I've got a force princess, right? No, I do not. Let me put one in real quick. Come on. Fine, I'll do this. And get another one. Okay, if I put one in here, obviously it's gonna go in there, and I think I even bumped the priority of this guy up to 60, no, oh, to super high, and the priority of the drive is one. What's, where, where is this, this forest princess gonna go? <laughs> That's the million dollar question. You guys can even pause the video and comment, and we'll see if, you, if you've paid attention. Uh, is it gonna follow the priority system and go here because it's 256? Is it going to follow the preformatted? I don't have this preformatted, so there's no preformatting here. But does the indexer preformat because it only stores certain types? Hmm, I don't know. And or is it going to go on this drive because it it's just the random location? Well, let's put them in here and see. Force princess is in there. We now have two. I don't know. Is he on here? Is he in here? two forest princesses. So the item came through here, it came through my one-way network into here and out there onto the indexer. Now what happens if I put a block here like, I don't know, just give me some cobble. What if I put cobble into this one? What's gonna happen? I can't because there's no way to, there's no place to put it, right? It's not allowed to go anywhere. So you could do this, oops, there go all my bees, 
Let's get a chest. And uh, actually, let's connect it here. And let's put preformatted. Where's my. Well, let's just preformat a new one. I need to take everything out of it first. Uh oh, what happened here? Did we run out of power? Oh, we ran out of juice. This thing was eating a lot of juice. Okay. Alright, this guy is empty. He's pre-formatted for cobble, right? Yeah. Put him in here. That's all I can hold, right? So I can I can't put dirt in here. I can put cobble. I can put cobble, no problem. I can put dirt. And if I put cobble here, it's going over here. Cool, huh? Goes through the storage bus onto this drive. So these interfaces are so powerful. I don't. I haven't even discovered the very minimum of what these things can do. Um, these two things here, where you can say always keep some dirt if there's available. Let me do that with cobble because it'll make more sense. Uh, always keep two cobble on hand, and now this uh, has the cobble, and you can mix it with a fabricator or something. It, it acts like a chest, right? And let's say, make me a furnace, and always keep a cobble here. Let's make it furnaces. Made four furnaces. <laughs> Put some more cobble in the chest. It's going to make more furnaces. Isn't that awesome? You know, it's always just going to take. You can use it to your advantage to keep certain items stocked for a fabricator. Uh, but this one-way connection with a storage bus to an interface is really cool. So I hope you guys learned some things uh, as we clarified some of the um, incorrect comments that were made in some of my recent videos. Uh, if you guys know any other things that I missed, or um, if you want to make suggestions or other things that you can do with these, feel free, but please, please, please test them in your own test world before you just go in. Uh, because Direwolf did it one way, that's not a good answer. Uh, you either need to have wiki evidence to support it or personal testing, not just it should work that way, it's supposed to work that way. It works that way in other mods. This mod's completely different, it has a lot of little strange quirks, and you really need to go test it and make sure it behaves the way you think it does before you make comments about it. So this has been FunshineX for Applied Energistics. I will see you guys next time. Bye.